Alright, I saw this video while perusing the YouTubes. I know it's like a month old, but it's very relevant for what's going on. These four guys, they hitched a ride on a rudder. So when the federal police came, I don't know, I don't even know where I was. Number one, I don't even know where I was. So the federal police came and they asked, do you know where you are? I said, no. This is Brazil. That was the first thing they said. This is Brazil. I said, wow, this is Brazil. I made it to Brazil. I'm happy. It was a terrible experience for me. Uh, it's been the first time I've never tried that before, but because I, I already made up my mind to leave. So I just some of the courage, you know, but then it's not easy. You know, seeing the sheep, you know, shaking, you know, I was so scared. But I'm here in Brazil. After watching the video, I looked at the comment section. 98% of the comments are like, oh, these guys are so brave. What a harrowing ordeal. They risk starvation and dehydration and drowning and death to make it to Brazil. The only problem is, Brazil wasn't where they wanted to go. It says in the video here that they had hoped to go to Europe. Hmm, I wonder why. To the point where two of these men, half the group, returned to Nigeria. Now in this video, it doesn't give a reason why they returned to Nigeria. So I'm just gonna spitball here three reasons why I think they returned to Nigeria. One, those two men were criminals and the Br Brazilian government ejected them. We don't want criminals. So think about it. Two out of the four, half the group, were criminals. And you look at all these hundreds of thousands of immigrants, my illegal immigrants, that want to get into Europe or the States. If you apply that metric of half are criminals, that's pretty bad. But they didn't want to put in the news clip that they were criminals, so they just said returned. Second reason I can think of, like it said in the video, they wanted to go to Europe. Brazil is not Europe. To quote the great salty cracker, it's all about the gimmies. Maybe Brazil isn't big on the gimmies, but Europe is, and they know that. So, to them, Nigeria was better. Imagine being a Brazilian, and you hear about this sad story of these four men on a rudder, risking dehydration, starvation, death, and you're like, oh, that's so sad. But then you read, two of them, half the group, return to Nigeria. How much of a kick in the nuts would that be to find out that your country is worse than Nigeria? And to add vinegar into the wound? In order for them to return to Nigeria, the Brazilian government probably paid for it. And finally, the third reason, they heard one of their relatives was sick, and they wanted to return to Nigeria. I really doubt the third reason. But, like I said, I'm just going on what this video says, and it says that two of the other men returned to Nigeria. Didn't say why, so I'm just spitballing, so it's just my opinion. Well, anyway, that's it for my thoughts on this uh, asinine event. It's asinine to me, because if you risk all that 14 days on a frigging rudder, and then just decide to go back where you came from, that's friggin' asinine. Well, anyway, take care out there in clown world.